All right, folks, welcome back to the Microsoft 365 DSC webcast. This week, the topic is going to be security. We're going to be talking about how you can go and secure your configurations before you go and deploy them to your environment. Because some of those configs are going to be hanging around in your environment. Uh, the compiled version, which is the MOF file, can sometimes ex expose plain text passwords. So we want to make sure that everything you do is secure so that you're not exposing uh, credentials for your Microsoft 365 tenant to people out there uh, that have access to those files. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to do a basic export of my tenant's configuration. I'm going to do an unattended export. I'm just going to export the SPO sharing settings. So we're all familiar with the export M365 DSC configuration. Uh, come and let. So this is what I'm going to be calling into. It's going to take about 30 seconds. And then once it's done, what it's going to give me is the well it's going to prompt me first where i want to save the files so i'm going to go and save them under cdsc which we can see is currently empty should take a few seconds and then once i specify the path where i want to store the files it's going to save or generate two files the first one is my ps1 file which is my skeleton file it doesn't contain any information that points to what tenant i did the extract from it's going to only con uh, contain configuration settings without any R coded values that point to whatever tenant I just exported. And the other file, which might seem a bit uh, obscure to some of you, is what we call the configuration data file. All right, so here are the two files I just exported. So we can see my tenant config and my config data file. In my configuration data file, what I have is a bunch of properties. By default, the only properties that I'm exposing are something called PS DSC allow plain text password. So this is a reserved um, setting inside of PowerShell desired state configuration that basically tells my engine, let the user compile configuration files and store passwords as plain text, which is not best practice for sure. Right? So by default, we do not allow that. Right? So if I was to go in and remove this, so let's say I'm going to go and save it. So save that configuration file. And then I go in and I try to actually compile my Microsoft or the PS1 file I just exported. It's gonna come back with an error. Uh, it might prompt me for my username and password first. What is going on? Come on laptop, wake up. All right, so it's prompting me for my username and password. I'm just gonna go in and type in a bogus username and password. Uh, and then in theory, <laughs> if my demo works, so it's coming back with a, uh, an error saying that you, the property global admin account is of type uh, password, right? And converting and storing encrypted password as plain text is not recommended. So by default, out of the box, PowerShell DSC does not let you store plain text passwords. When we do the extraction, we allow this uh, by default, right? Now, is it good practice? Probably not. It's just a matter of being able for you to understand what's happening there. By default, when you extract it, this uh, property is set to true with Microsoft 365 DSC. That is if your environment is not configured to encrypt configuration. So what we're going to talk about next is how to go and encrypt those actual configurations. So that's your secure. And then when you do that extract, you actually have a certificate file generated that will go and encrypt your configuration so that you can't retrieve any plain text password. Now let's just go and save this file again. So I'm gonna allow the PS DSC allow plain text passwords in my file. I'm gonna go back to my configuration and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go and compile my configuration file. Again, I'm gonna go admin at bogus.com and the password is gonna be pass123. So now it lets me compile it because I explicitly said allow plain text passwords. And if I go in and take a look at the MUF file that was compiled, because remember when you execute your file, you're actually compiling your configuration into what we call a MUF file. And if I was to open this up here, right at the top is my global admin account, adminbogus.com, pass123, plain text. So if you leave that MUF file hanging around on file shares, anybody that has access to that MUF file, can open it as plain text with notepad and get access to those credentials. So that is a big no-no. So what you want to do is you want to encrypt it. 
And the way to do this is you actually need to specify a certificate file when you're compiling your configuration. Let's uh, get a little bit technical here. So by default, when you have PowerShell installed on one of your config on one of your machine, you the remember the a the agent or the service that runs DSC by default is something called the local configuration manager, so LCM for short. And PowerShell exposes a pro or a commonlet called get DSC local configuration manager which gives you all the properties that are configured right now for your LCM. This is where you'll find stuff like apply and monitor, which is the configuration mode that says, do consistency check on a regular basis. If you detect a drift, simply log that drift in event viewer. Don't attempt to fix it automatically. Uh, the, the frequency in minutes as well is gonna be part of this, right? So apply and monitor is part of the LCM. The frequency by default is gonna be 15 minutes and so on. So you have a bunch of properties set here, but the one we're interested in is that certificate ID. So you see certificate ID right now is null. There's no certificate assigned to that agent, to that LCM. So what we're giving you is a brand new kernelet called set M365 DSC. So yes, it is a mouthful, but it is extremely clear what that kernelet does. So it's set M365 DSC agent certificate configuration. And what that command will do is it will first off check in your local certificate store on that agent on the machine where you run the Microsoft 365 DSC tool. And it's gonna look for a certificate called M365 DSC encryption certificate. If that certificate does not exist, it's gonna create a brand new cell sign certificate and it's gonna first off register it in your uh, local certificate store. And it's gonna assign the thumbprint of that certificate to your LCM. If the certificate already exists, it's going to just take the thumbprint of it and assign it to your LCM. So we're going to go and run that command. So set M365 DSC certification agent. It returns a thumbprint, which is the thumbprint of my certificate. But if I go back now and rerun my get DSC local configuration manager, you can see that automatically I went in and I assigned that certificate thumbprint to my local LCM. So we're good to go. So that basically means, that tells the LCM, you are able to decrypt any configuration that has been encrypted with this certificate. So that's one piece of the equation. That's the first thing. But just by running this command there, you're automatically going in and assigning or configuring your environment. So I recommend that everybody listening to this webcast runs this command. Uh, it is on GitHub, it's gonna be part of the next release that we put on the PowerShell gallery within the next couple of days, uh, but definitely something to look for. So now that my agent has a certificate thumbprint assigned to it, the next time I'm going to go and do an export, I'm just going to rerun the same command, the export DSC configuration. What the export command is going to do is it's going to, at the end of it, it's going to go, all right, do I have a configuration or a certificate assigned to the LCM? Yes, there is one go and extract that certificate, take the thumbprint of that certificate, put it in the configuration data, and store the certificate along with the extracted files, right? So many things, I said many things in there, but just know that everything is automatically done for you. So now that I've done an extraction, same command. It detected that I did run that set M365 DSC agent certificate configuration command, that I created a certificate, our Microsoft 365 DSC encryption certificate, and when it's gonna go in now and do the extraction, it will do two things. You see, first thing is it went in and it actually extracted a certificate. So that is the certificate that was assigned to my LCM. It extracted that cert file, put it in the same location as the uh, configuration data and the actual extract the PS1 file. And in my configuration data file, I now have a new property in there called certificate file that points to that certificate that has been extracted. So if I go in now and try to compile my configuration, just like I did before, it's still gonna prompt me for my username and password. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go and do admin at bogus.com, uh, pass one, two, three. Same thing as previous uh, example. It's gonna compile fine, but now if I go in and take a look at the MUF file, see this? The password 
has now been encrypted. So there's no way for me to retrieve it as plain text. It has been encrypted. And the only thing that can decrypt it is an agent that has that certificate, in our case, the LCM. So that means if I go and run this, it's gonna take that MOF file, send it to my local MC, uh, LCM, which has the certificate, it will decrypt it in memory. It's still encrypted while it's in transit and while it's in memory, but at least at rest, my file has now been encrypted as well. So this is the way folks to secure your Microsoft 365 DSC configuration. I hope this was useful. I know it was extremely geeky and a lot of technical details, but hopefully you have a better understanding of how DSC works and the, um, the certificates for the LCM all works together. On that note, I wish you all a good rest of your day and we'll talk again soon.